Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about a condition that is often ignored in the medical community, or they simply don't have any answers for patients who have this. The condition is called chronic fatigue syndrome. Let's get right into it. The correct term should be myalgic encephalomyelitis, or chronic fatigue syndrome. Basically, it's a chronic neuro brain endocrine hormones immune system dysfunction it's a vicious cycle that keeps going around and creating havoc within the body it creates neuroinflammation systemic inflammation there's often a mitochondrial defect meaning the produce uh, the ability to produce atp okay there's often autoimmunity associated with it, and the HPA axis dysregulation. HPA axis meaning hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, how the brain talks to the adrenal glands for proper hormone production. It also has a dysfunctional uh, natural killer cells, and it's got barrier permeability issues, meaning gut barriers or leaky gut or intestinal permeability or even the brain um, barrier, right? So there's things that should not cross the blood-brain barrier and they may cross in creating neuroinflammatory processes. So it's a multifaceted disease, really, and it has to um, be given proper attention in order to help these types of patients. So what are some of the mechanisms of ME or chronic fatigue syndrome? Oftentimes, that we find is there's a viral infection, like cyclomegalovirus, Epstein-Barr virus, herpes viruses this in general. <clears throat> there's one that impacts the brain called HHV6. So viral infection is one of those triggers. Autoimmune disease can also be a trigger. Chemical toxicity. I mean, we are bathing in chemicals. Right? There is environmental pollutants everywhere. Okay? <clears throat> so chemical toxicity, if you don't have tolerance for it, then you may trigger ME. Traumatic brain injury, <clears throat> very common. You have multiple head traumas, and it creates neuroinflammatory processes that cannot be calmed down. Stealth infections, often ignored. Lyme disease, Bartonella, uh, Babitzia, mycoplasm. There's a lot of different stealth diseases out there or even intestinal parasites that have been ignored. Mold toxicity. There's a lot of sick buildings out there. Mold damage, right? Stachybotrys, penicillium. There's a lot of different molds that can impact your health. These all can impact or trigger a chronic fatigue syndrome patient. It creates post-exertional malaise. You exercise a little bit, wiped out completely. Fatigue, obviously, is a, a factor. Cognitive deficits or decline, immune compromise, right? Autoimmune symptoms, or I'm sorry, autonomic symptoms, where your uh, parasympathetic and sympathetic systems are off balance. Your fight or flight system is off balance. Stress response intolerance, tiny bit of a stress. A little fight some little trigger can take this patient from feeling somewhat okay to a di downward spiral to feeling completely wiped out all these symptoms will basically tell you you have ME or chronic fatigue syndrome it is a very serious condition that is being ignored in the medical community so if you want more videos on ME or chronic fatigue syndrome please comment below and I will go ahead and make an effort to make more videos on this topic. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.